this is an interesting little gadget. Let me show you it. When you look at it, you'll think, well, that's a drug-taking device. And technically speaking, I suppose it is. But it's found a new and interesting use for electronic stuff. And the reason I've got this here is because it's closely related to this soldering iron that uh, uses vapor-producing devices, the battery packs for them, to actually power a soldering iron heater. This is a rosin atomizer, and I suppose it's got other uses. Initially, when I saw this, I thought, they're just finding ways of, you know, selling these under a different uh, description to circumvent certain areas of the market. But in reality, it works really well. So here's the idea. If you have a circuit board with surface mount components on it that something is short-circuited and it's very hard locating the component that is overheating, usually a capacitor, um, or sometimes the chip itself, what you do is you get a bit of pine rosin, the standard stuff that's used in uh, soda flux, and you put it into this unit. And when you put it in, well, I don't know if this is loaded up already. Let's, let's unlock it for a start. You'll notice I chose classic pink for this channel. The pink is not anything other than just the fact it's quite funny to get things in pink from China, particularly dangerous items. So now the, uh, I've put far too much in here, haven't I? But let me zoom down this. Well, actually, you know what? I can do better than this. I've made a little test setup. And I'm just going to show you how this works. So I'm going to zoom down in this. Hopefully not losing too much resolution in the process. I'm going to hold the button in this. And after a while, you'll see that it starts putting out a cloud of vapour. The vapour is vaporised flux, which is forming a nice white coating on all the components. Can you see that? It's just basically deposited uh, vapour that has recondensed into lots of, sort of crystals of the resin on top of the surface. Uh, most of the videos I've seen show it being used with uh, this in place, but I'm not sure that's really ideal. I, I kind of prefer it. I've tried it and I prefer it on its own. But uh, having said that, in windy conditions, you might want to do something like this so the cloud comes out without uh, ambient ventilation disturbing it. Now, before I... Uh, oh, no, no, tell you what. No, I'll show you the listing for this first. And then we'll get a good close-up in this and I'll show you it working. So it's described on eBay as a rosin atomizing pen for mobile phone maintenance tester PCB short circuit detector. It's not that expensive. It came in at just over £10 in the UK, uh, and there's lots of them on eBay. I just chose this one because, well, it just looked quite stylish. And it was pink, which is the symbolic colour of danger. Right, tell you what, I'm going to uh, change the setup so you, you can get really close to this and we can actually watch it in operation. One moment, please. OK, here is the test setup we have. I have a 1K resistor, a 10K resistor and a 100 ohm resistor, and one of those is about to start overheating. Let's see what happens now. That's very vivid, isn't it? It's basically remelting the flux, and the component that is faulty, the one that is getting hot, uh, announces itself by going jet black. Isn't that neat? Uh, in the case of the capacitor, it would go clear, but you can see a very distinct change. So a uh, pretty neat gadget. So that is an unusual, it's an unexpected application, but it works really well. Uh, I would guess that since this is just a standard end component, that it might actually go on to other devices as well. But ultimately, it's designed for this classic uh, base and this one has the micro usb charger built in but you could use it on existing devices it means that you're getting close to the point that a, a mini electronic toolkit could be built with the solder iron tip and the rosin atomizer and just one common battery pack that could also use for your other devices so the thing comes in this neat little pouch and it also comes a little rosin scoop thing uh, and it comes with a charging lead and a cleaning brush. I'd guess, ultimately, everything in the packet is what you'd get for its other use, its herbaceous uh, atomization use. So it comes with a little cleaning brush, and it comes with the charging lead. But as I say, I found, uh, I found the best results for me were basically just actually using it without any of the paraphernalia that came with it, and actually just... Uh, 
Is this still awake? Yes, it is. And actually just basically holding it down like this and putting your deposit of stuff onto the circuit board. It's quite neat the way it flows out. Very, very novel. Oh, it's also atomizing lots of rosin into the air. But there we go. An unusual application for a drug device that has actually found a useful electronic application 